Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Chrono Plays Arcade Block. Not as late as last month, but still later than it normally is. Um, for the record, I did actually get an email back from them. Uh, uh, literally a week after I put up last month's video. Uh, so, like, yeah, two weeks after I emailed them, I got an email back saying that, oh, according to our information, it has already arrived. Yeah. Um, tech support for NerdBlock kind of not good. So hopefully they don't fail miserably and I don't lose things and there's a random insect on the box. Hmm. Anyways, let's open the box and see what's inside. Woo! All right, so first things first, T-shirt. We have... The Fallout Boy! Okay, so it's a Fallout shirt. Yoink. It's actually a very nice Fallout shirt. I like that. I like that a lot. I'm trying to remember. Now, I just recently had a reference to Fallout, and I'm trying to remember what that reference was. I don't remember. Anyways, <clears throat> moving along, we have Assassin's Creed minis. Those are terrifying. Seriously, if you saw one of those things coming at you, trying to assassinate you, you just you know fall over dead. They wouldn't have to actually assassinate you. They just you you just know that they're coming after you and be like, ah, nope, not gonna do it, not gonna do it. Whoop, and it is whoop some terrifying thing. That's actually really creepy looking. I swear this thing looks familiar. I've seen this before. I don't remember from what though. It's like a crazy puppet robot thing. It really does. Ugh, come on. There we go. Okay, so apparently there is an invisible stick here that goes in the hole here. Whee. And then there's it, uh, it jabs the puppet in its ass. Ugh. And then the puppet floats there. So... I don't get it. And it, it it's not like... It doesn't friction fit very well either. So it's like going to want to fall off very easily. And it doesn't want to sit straight every time I try to straighten it. Whatever. Okay, so... Let's just sit your creepy ass right there. Moving along, we have... Oh, looky, it's a Funko Pop. Oh, but it actually looks like what it's supposed to be. It looks like exactly like Crap Trap. Can you stand on your own? I am very curious now. Come here, Clap Trap. Arr. And apparently it's from Borderlands 44. I didn't know they made a 43rd one, but okay. That's all that's in there? Okay. So it's Clap Trap. It's got some heft to it. This thing's heavier than I expected it to be. Considering I was holding the box, and I swear to God, before I pulled this thing out, the box felt lighter. Yes, it does stand on its own. Okay. You look a little scuffed there, but... Yeah, not that great of a paint job. We got some weird black scuffs here, scuffed paint. Maybe, maybe, maybe it's supposed to look like that, because Claptrap wasn't exactly in the best of shape to begin with. But, I mean, most everything else looks okay, paint-wise. Hmm. <coughs> I like it. So let's set it aside there. Then we have... Whoop. Whoop. A Hyrule multi-tool. Two screwdrivers, a bottle opener. Wait, is that it? Just two screwdrivers and a bottle opener. I guess that qualifies as multi. Hmm. Can, can I pull this out of here without damaging the packaging? That would be a no. I cannot pull it out of here without uh, damaging the packaging. So, okay, let's damage the packaging. Yeah, two flathead screwdrivers. Uh, come on, there we go. Yeah, a tiny flathead screwdriver, a still kind of tiny flathead screwdriver, and a bottle opener. And that's all it is. But it's on the front of the uh, Hyrule logo. 
We oh there that shows up nicely on camera. Oh, but it's all kinds of messed up. Like it's scraped off, partially. Hmm. I didn't survive shipping that well, and that's actually interesting considering where the darkness is. It's kind of inset and painted. Huh. All right, that's disappointing, to say the least. Next, we have a mouse pad. Ooh. Okay, I like you. Hang on, let's get you out of the packaging so I don't have to worry about glare on the camera. There you go. Oh, I like it even better now. That looks nice. Ooh, I like it. I like it a lot. I really like it. Oh, now, now it's debate. Now it's debate. I still have that one. Um, which one? I, f I forget if it was Nerd Block or Loot Crate, but it has the one from um, the new one. A Link Between Worlds. It has the map from A Link Between Worlds on it. But this one's Majora's Mask. And oh my God, it looks nice. Now that's a debate. Which one do I want to use? Oh, I don't know. Ooh, there's another thing in here. There's three things in here. We have Battleborn. Oh, I know this thing. This is the thing that everybody's comparing to Overwatch that apparently is wrong, but I know nothing about it because I just heard of Battleborn today. I shit you not, I have never heard of Battleborn before. I've heard of Overwatch, but I never heard of Battleborn before today. I was watching Total Biscuit's video on what the difference between Battleborn and Overwatch is. That's the only reason I know it's a thing. <laughs> um, but it's a multiplayer shooter thing that I really don't give a shit about. Um, all right, so let's see what advertisements do are here. Exclusive phone cases are coming. Head over to nerdblock.com forward slash account forward slash login to select your phone model to get your hands on one of these bad boys now. Alrighty, I guess I'll have to remember to do that because I somehow doubt that they would default to a Samsung Note 4. And to be perfectly honest, I would be shocked if they actually have Samsung Note 4 considering it's like two generations behind at this point. Yeah. Alrighty, moving along. Another advertisement. Yeah, so, um, ah, okay, this is one of those things. We create the recipes we deliver for free. You select your meals, you cook. So basically it's a uh, subscription service um, for food. Yeah, so basically they send you all kinds of food in boxes like this and then you make the meal. So in case you're too lazy to go to the grocery store and actually go out to the internet for the recipes. Interesting concept. Not my kind of thing. So I'm not going to deal with it. Anything else in here? Uh, boop, one more advertisement for next month. Uh, yeah, okay, there we go. This May, Arcade Block is chock full of exclusives, including a war ethic item from Warcraft. Which Warcraft is that? Is that the original Warcraft? Also, this month, Arcade Block contains four exclusives, along with some supremely sup super items from Super Mario Brothers and Plants vs. Zombies, and more. Yeah, good for you. And, and is there anything interesting about this? Uh, Fallout t-shirt, at eh, glows in the dark. There we go, that's interesting. Not really, but yeah, there you go. Uh, Battleborn Buttons 3-pack. Majora's Mask mouse pad. Assassin's Creed mini collectible figures. Those things are creepy as fuck. The Legend of Zelda utility tool. And Borderlands Funko Pop. Okay, so you could have gotten Claptrap. Um, oh, that is Borderlands, isn't it? Okay. And I don't remember their names. I only remember Claptrap. You know, I played that game. I actually liked that game. The original Borderlands. I never actually finished Borderlands 2, and I didn't even bother with Borderlands stories or the prequel. Or was Tales from the Borderlands the prequel? I don't remember! Um, never played it either way. So, okay. So, the traditional everything that I don't care about goes back in the box. Uh, advertisements. Goes back in the box. This thing, staying out of the box to remind me to do that. The pins from Battleborn. 
Duh. Don't care about Battleborn. Uh, the creepy ass Assassin's Creed figure. Yeah, it's staying out. It's still creepy as fuck, but it's staying out. Claptrap! I like Claptrap. I mean, he's an annoying little bastard, but uh, his statue is silent, so that's good. Um, I like it. So, Claptrap's staying out. The Legend of Zelda multi-tool. Yeah, f well, if it wasn't for the fact that this thing was so poorly painted, uh, I still wouldn't carry this thing because, you know, it's supposed to be a keychain. It's going to go into your pockets and jab you every time you try to walk. So to be perfectly honest, I think this is a very piss poor design and it's kind of useless with just a flathead and another flathead and a bottle opener. Um, it, it's kind of useless, so it's going back in the box. Uh, the Majora's Mask mouse pad is freaking gorgeous. I don't know what the hell I'm going to use it for. I don't know if it's actually going to be used as a mouse pad, but it is really nice. I'm going to find a use for it. Um, and I quite like the t-shirt. The t-shirt is quite nice. So I'm keeping the t-shirt out. Whee! Okay, so outside of advertisements and uh, two things, I like it. Yay, all right. There, now the table's nice and clean. All right, so that's it for, what month are we on? April, April 2016 arcade block. See you guys in the next episode. And as always, keep playing the game and have fun.